The SS Mandy, a British passenger ship turned troop ship sinking in British waters a hundred years ago, is still South Africa's largest maritime disaster. Why? The Ditsong National Museum of Military History has some answers. We've never had such an incident before or since where so many soldiers were lost in one go, in one incident, that were not in action in, in any conflict. In one incident we lost over 600 people. These soldiers were not in action, they were en route to France to serve. And because of a maritime disaster, these troops unfortunately perished at sea. And if you think of the politics at the time, these were black South African soldiers. It was such a major tragedy that the South African Parliament, which as you know at that time would have been a white South African Parliament, even rose is in a minute of silence in commemoration of the tragedy that had occurred at that time. That was quite significant. When World War I started in 1914, the Union of South Africa was a dominion of the British Empire. South Africans served alongside British soldiers under British command, like the Australians, Canadians and New Zealanders, amongst others. The South Africans on the SS Mendy were mainly part of the 5th Battalion of the South African Native Labour Contingent. The British government made a request to the South African government during the war to provide a contingent of labourers. So th these troops were going to be assisting in offloading supplies at the major French ports, as well as the felling of trees for wood that was required for the trenches on the front line. The Mendy was en route from Plymouth towards Le Havre in France. At the time, another ship called the SS Darrow, also a troop ship, was en route from Le Havre towards the United Kingdom. It apparently was traveling a lot faster and not sounding its sirens. And as a result of the misty evening, the Darrow struck the Mendy on, on the side of the ship. A number did not make it up to, to the deck um, and, and unfortunately drowned inside the ship. But the ship sank very quickly. Unfortunately, many of the, of the troops who were in the water succumbed to the icy conditions of the water as well. It is not confirmed by any official source at all, but has been preserved by tradition and the press that the Reverend Isaac Walchope Dioba spoke to the men. They were well disciplined and they removed their boots and stamped the death dance while the ship was going down. Just over 200 people survived the disaster on 21 February 1917. Now the ship is, is still at the bottom of the ocean. A number of bodies were recovered. A number of bodies were washed ashore both in the UK and in Europe. And that is what's most important here is that uh, many families did not have closure because uh, the bodies simply just were not recovered. The First World War was supposed to be the war to end all wars. It didn't. Maybe remembering the SS Mendy and all fallen soldiers as well as wartime suffering will one day. Marisa de Clark Joburg today.